Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about one of the most important term used in cyber security called as cryptography. So now let's talk about it. So what is cryptography? So cryptography is actually an art of hiding our data in order to protect that data from third party people. So we can even use cryptography to convert our normal text into an unreadable form so that it can be remain safe from the third party people. So the main three principles of cryptography is confidentiality, availability and integrity. So confidentiality ensures us that our data is secure and integrity ensures us that data, our data is not being tampered or altered by another third party people and availability ensures us that our data is available whenever we need. Now let's talk about one of the most popularly used cryptography technique in order to protect our data and that technique is called as encryption. So what is encryption? So encryption is actually a process of converting our plain text into an cipher text which means here you can see that here is our plain text hello and after the encryption our text becomes this that is an unreadable form and this is called as cipher text. So you can see here encryption is a process of converting our data into a cipher text so that integrity of that data can be maintained and the encryption is the part of a cryptography technique. Now let's talk about different types of cryptography techniques. So there are three types of cryptography, secret key cryptography, public key cryptography and hash function. Now let's talk about each of them in detail. So first of all, we'll talk about secret key cryptography. So secret key cryptography is also called as symmetric key encryption. So what it means, it means while encrypting the data, the key which we will use in encryption will be the same and while the time of decrypting the data the key which we will use is the same as of encryption. So here you can see that here is our data and the while the time of encrypting it, this data our key is a secret key and it's the same and once we got our encrypted data and we want to decrypt that so while the time of decryption we will use the same key which we used in order to encrypt the data. So this is in the case of secret key cryptography. Now let's talk about public key cryptography. So in public key cryptography there are two keys. So here you can see that the key for encryption is different and the key which is used while decrypting is different. So that's why public key cryptography is also called as asymmetric encryption. Now let's talk about the last type of cryptography that is hash functions. So what is hash function? So hashing is actually a one way conversion which means we have one our text. So here you can see we have one text that is hello. So once we convert the hash of this hello, so you can see here that we got our hash and this is a one way conversion means once we got our hash, we are not be able to retrieve our text back. So that's why hashing is called as one way conversion and it's not recommended to use this technique in order to protect your data. Now let's see how hash functions and encryption works. Now let's have a look at different hashing algorithm and let's see how encryption works with the help of one python program. So in order to proceed we have to download this python language and you can download the python from here from python.org. So python language is available in two versions python 3 and python 2.7. So the only difference between these two versions are the difference of syntax or the way we write the code. So for that program we have to download this python 2.7 and I have already downloaded and installed python 2.7 in my system. So once you install the python, so the next thing you have to do is you have to download that python file that is called as swiss crypto. So I have created this file and name it as a swiss crypto and you can download this file from my github link that is gist.github.com slash sharadkumar. 97 so let me just click over here so here you can see that the file which i have created so i name i named it as a swiss crypto tool and it's purely written in python so it supports different hashing algorithms and different encryption algorithms so we can also send a secure email by encrypting our body with the help of private keys with the help of this tool and this script is compatible with python 2.7 so before running this script, we have to install some Python libraries that is PyCrypto and TKEnter and we also have to resolve some dependencies issues. 
So if you face any problem while running this script, you can reach out to me at this email address. And if I scroll down here, you can see the Python code. So let's save this file, click on draw, right click and click on save page as and let's save this script on my desktop with the name as Swiss crypto. So if I go here on my desktop, you will see this script Swiss crypto. And if you have Python correctly installed, then this will be the icon of the script. And here you can see that it's written Python file. So let's right click over here and click on edit with IDLE. So here you can see the entire source code of the script. So the next thing you have to do is you have to install PyCrypto a library of Python which contains a lot of cryptographic functions which I have imported in this script. So in order to install any Python library, so we have to go to Python directory that where the Python is installed. So by default, the Python is installed in local disk C and here you will find a folder named as Python 27. So let me open this up and here you will find one directory called as scripts. So let me double click over here. So once we are here, just press shift and then click on right mouse button. And here you will see one option that open command window here. So click over here and here you will see that a command prompt is open. And here is the path that where we are writing C Python 2.7 and scripts. So we have to write here pip then install followed by the Python library which we want to install. So pip is a program in Python which is used in to install different Python libraries. So here you can write pycrypto. So I have already downloaded and installed this library. So that's why it's saying requirement already satisfied. So I have to install this pycrypto library. And if still you are facing some problems, then you just feel free to reach out to me. So let me just close this up. Let's open this thing. Okay, so now let's try to run this script. So in order to run it, just click over here, run and run module. So once we run it, here you will see a beautiful graphical menu containing secure messaging system. And it contains a lot of options in its menu. That is hash converter, encryption, decryption and secure email. So but for in this video, we'll cover all the hashing algorithms along with one encryption algorithm. So let's click over here hash converter. And here you will find a different hashing algorithm like MD5, SHA1, SHA256, SHA5112. Just for example, if I click over here MD5, and here it asks us for entering the data. So if I enter the data, hello, and if I click on convert, here you will see that our data hello is actually converted into MD5 hash. And here you can find the hash of hello and behind this script you can see here that in the python shell the hash of hello is created and you can copy it from here so as i told you earlier that hashing is one way conversion that once we convert our text into a hash we are not able to retrieve our text back so depending upon the hashing algorithm you are using you will get a complex hash so just for example let's try to convert our text by using SHA1. So let's try to convert here. So let's write something here called as text. Click on convert and you will see that we now this time we got a hash but that is little bit longer than MD5. And you can even create a longest hash by using this algorithm SHA5112 that is 5112 bytes. And let's try to convert this text only by using SHA5112. And if I click on convert you will see that we got a very long hash. You can see here the hashing value. And if I go back here, you will see that the SHA-5112 hash of that text. So you can also use this tool in order to store passwords in your database in hashes. So this was all about hashing algorithms. Now let's talk about encryption that how encryption works. So as I told you earlier that in order to encrypt the data, we have to add one key. And in order to decrypt the data, we have to add the same key depending upon the encryption algorithm we are using. So let's run this file again. 
and now this time let's go here to the encryption let's click over here symmetric encryption block cipher and in this video let's concentrate on this stream ciphers and let's select this algorithm ARC4 that is rival cipher 4 so these all kind of different algorithms I will explain you in the next video but for the sake of this video let's concentrate over here so it asks us for the key and the data to convert so in the first input field let's write here the secret key and our secret key will be you can write here anything like secret one two three four five so it's the secret key is it's just like a password so once we add the secret key here we have to add our data which we want to encrypt so let's add here let's add here any random string that is password of Facebook click on convert and here you will see that we got our encrypted text and this text is in the form of hex value so here you can see that our encrypted text or we can say that it's our it's a cipher text because it's encrypted now in order to decrypt this text we want this encrypted text and along with this key so now let's try to decrypt this text click on decryption symmetric encryption and we have to select the same algorithm which we have used while encrypting so here enter key to decrypt so our key was secret 1 2 3 4 5 and let's copy this in encrypted text from here let's go back let's save this text click on ok and here you will see that we got our normal text back that was password of Facebook and if I go back to the python shell you will see here that the decrypted text is the password of facebook which we have entered while encryption so this is how a normal encryption decryption and hashing algorithm works now let's try to change a little modification in the encrypted data so here you can see that if i enter only a single word here like t and if I change one key to something random and if I click on OK here you will see that it will give us an error of odd length string which means the key should be the same while encryption of data and the data which we got after encryption should be the same so in this video we have covered that what is cryptography what is hashing algorithms and what is encryption and we have a look at one python program which we can use in order to encrypt something and in order to see that how hashing works thanks for watching this video